Hi, third graders, welcome back. Um, I'm gonna go over the answers to slides, I believe it's six through nine. I'm gonna tell you the answers. Again, I'm really just looking for if you circled the correct dog and how you explained it. If you did not come up with the correct name for this new puppy dog, that's okay. I just wanna see how creative you were. So on slide six, these two, um, these two parent dogs, would have a puppy that looked like puppy C. Now up here, I'm gonna be looking for whether you said I chose this puppy because the puppy has um, the same curly fur like a poodle or it has floppy ears and the nose of a spaniel. You did not have to say all of those, but you should have said at least a couple of them. So again, it's Dog C because of the it has the same curly hair as the poodle and it has the nose and the floppy ears like the spaniel. Um, I would call this puppy, this puppy is, re is real and they call this ki kind of puppy a cockapoo. They're so cute. All right, let's go on to slide seven. Slide seven, the pug and the beagle, when they are mated together, they also would create puppy number C. Um, I'm looking up here, did you type that puppy number C kind of has that flattened face of the pug? They both have those noses that kind of go in or that they have kind of the floppy ears and the same fur coloring as the beagle. So again, they take these parent traits mix them together and that's how we get the baby. That's how I know it's baby or puppy, not baby, puppy C. And again, this is a real type of dog that is here in real life and they put pug and beagle together to get a puggle. <laughs> Very fun. All right, slide eight. When a German Shepherd and a Labrador mate together, their puppy looks like puppy C, C seems to be the lucky one, but it's not C on the next one. Um, the reason it's C, the traits that this puppy gets from its parents, it has the same nose and the same coloring as its dad, as its mom, the German Shepherd. And then its dad, the Labrador, you can really see it in the lab's ears. They have very similar ear color, or not color, but ear shape. Um, and again, this is a real type of dog in real life. And this is called a shepherdor. They put the shepherd and the labrador together to get a, oops, shh, I spelled that wrong, shepherdor. And finally, on slide nine, if we put together a schnauzer and a pomeranian, this time it's going to be a puppy dog A. The reason for this is the traits that it gets from its mom, the schnauzer, is really kind of that wiry fur, that fur that kind of sticks out all the different ways. And you can see it in the ears. They have very similar ear shape. And from its dad, the Pomeranian, you, you see it with the color of the fur. So those are the traits this puppy gets from its parents. And this puppy is called Pomenaz, <laughs> putting Pomeranian and Schnauzer together to get um, Pomenaz. So you are gonna go ahead and you are gonna answer question 11, or question on slide 11. Why are there so many different kinds of dogs in this world? That's the big one. And then kind of the fun question, if you could mix two dogs together, what would you choose and what would you call it? My dog, Zeus, we think is a mixture of a German Shepherd, like we saw on slide eight, and a St. Bernard, which is those big Beethoven, kind of very sweet dogs that are known to be big help helpers. So there's not a real name for his kind of breed, but maybe I would put together the Saint from St. Bernard and German from German Shepherd and call him a St. German or a... Um, yeah, a Saint German or something like that. So have some fun with it. I hope you enjoyed and learned stuff. All right, good luck.